the Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh -oh. So Moses ran away from Egypt uh -oh. to the land of Midian. Uh -oh. After many years, an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses ah! and told him to go back to Egypt to free the Israelites. After much protesting, God granted Moses his brother Aaron to speak on his behalf. Ooh. So Moses went to Egypt. And on his way there, he met Aaron who was ready to do whatever God wanted him to do. The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians, but God had a special plan for Moses. After rallying God's people to them, Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. and said, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, has said. Let my people go. Uh -huh. And Pharaoh made the Israelites work harder because of this. The foremen of the Israelite slaves were angry with Moses and Aaron for causing this trouble. Uh, uh. So Moses cried out to God and asked why this was happening. But God said, you will see what I will do. I am the Lord. I will deliver you from slavery. Wow, okay. Hey. Moses told this to the people. Hey, hey. But they were so discouraged that they didn't listen to him. God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and to do exactly as he said. So Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. Hey! God told them to take the staff and throw it down before Pharaoh. Huh? Pharaoh was not impressed. He called his wise men and sorcerers, and they did the same thing. Ooga, ooga. <laughs> but Aaron's staff swallowed up the sorcerer's staff. Uh? Yet Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them. Shoo, shoo. Just as God had said. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the banks of the Nile River and meet Pharaoh. Hey, Pharaoh! Oh, Moses and Aaron did just as God had said. But again, Pharaoh's magicians did the same miracle, and Pharaoh refused to let God's people go. So God sent nine more plagues to Egypt to show his power. Even with all the suffering, Pharaoh's heart stayed hard, and he would not let the people go. On the night of the last plague, Pharaoh woke up and heard a great cry in Egypt. For there was not a house in Egypt where someone was not dead. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and told him to be gone with the Israelites. So the Israelites left Egypt immediately and made their way to the Promised Land, taking with them many riches from Egypt, and they took Joseph's bones as they had promised him many years before. But after they had gone, Pharaoh changed his mind and readied his army to take back the Israelites. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh and his armies come, 
they were terrified. But God made a way for them. Through all of this, the Israelites saw the great power of their God, the one true God, and they put their trust in Moses, his servant.